Hey guys, Kiwi Sylvia, and uh, I woke up and pretty much, well, not woke up, I come home from work and I see what you see on my screen. I see tons of YouTube apologizing, but it's, it's like, really? And I can see... To be honest, I'm pissed that they took this long. That video has been re-viewed over and over by millions and billions of people. Including me. I had to see what the fuck it was going on. And I'm disgusted that they let this guy still make a living. So many people have responded to these by saying, suspend him, suspend him. And I am on board. There should be no fucking reason why he would even think of posting something so disgusting. And for those that don't know, it's a huge, huge controversy right now. Logan Paul went into the jet, the suicide of, Forrest of suicide, or I can't remember call off the top of my head. But he went in and filmed a dead guy. And... That's just disrespectful. I don't care if he's apologized. He shouldn't have ever had a camera on him when he went in there to begin with. That's just a bunch of bullshit. It's like going to a, a into the hospital and just walking in with a camera and saying, Oh, I'm here to watch you give birth. That's just invasion of privacy. And he knew. You could tell he acts very well. And the fact that he pointed out that he, they were so close to the fucking parking lot. I'm just disgusted that YouTube took this long. It's been up for about a month, I believe. Yes, he took it down, but it's like... You should just... Not even think. You should use your head before you even post anything. Jax talked about it. Everybody is furious with YouTube right now. Not only that, but the fact that they haven't... They've had issues now. And it's like, not common. You should really rethink of what you're going to post. And if you're going to post something about like mental health, like, like suicide, you should be serious and not joke about it like five minutes later. I've seen the video, and I couldn't watch the rest of it because I got so sick of how disrespectful that guy is. I suffered it myself, and the fact that he would poke fun at somebody who was... They even pointed out that he recently died. You don't just point that out to children who watch you. It's, uh, it's stated that there are mostly kids that watch his shit. I just watched it because I was wondering what the fuck was going on, and I regret watching it. Because now I am scarred with the fact that he would poke fun at it. It's not okay. And YouTube needs to really realize that there are kids under 12 that are watching this shit. And if Logan Paul is going to be the face of fucking YouTube, I don't even know why he even should. He should be at least banned until he learns to get his shit together. It's not the first time he's had issues. The entire past, I've glanced and he's had issues with Japan since he started. He should not even be allowed to vlog, ever. And for young, for y smaller channels like myself and a few others, we have to deal with that shit that he deals with. I mean, he makes all the rest of us look bad because he's huge. He can do this. He can do that. He has to make money. That's a bunch of bullshit. And sorry about my fucking language, but I'm pissed. And YouTube can demonetize this shit. I don't care. I'm going to let you know that I am sick of all the things at YouTube. Yes, they've apologized, but how long ago was that? All the shit that YouTube has done in the past years. 
they've slowly gone hip downhill since Google took over. And I think that, yeah, they, as you can see, they have said that they were just, they were upset and it's just, it did, it did violate their guidelines and I'm just rereading the whole thing and it's like, why would you let him even post it? There should be an agreement if you're posting a video. And if it has anything like suicide or sexual things or whatever, that you would know about it. That you want people to see or not want. Why am I saying that? That you understand that they may see this. And if you're huge and you post something like that it's just why why would you do that i'm i can't believe he hasn't been either deleted or suspended there are billions of people saying just suspend him suspend him or delete his channel altogether and i just glanced and jack is the one jack also said that I haven't even watched his video about this because I wanted to get my thoughts out before anything else. And I can tell he's going to tell the same thing. That it's not a joke. If you have suicidal thoughts, go seek help. There are people that care about you. Even if you think there isn't. Personally, I went through that many times in my life. I used to think that. And this is just sick. I recovered from it, yes. And I'm now doing what I want. But the fact that he poked fun at it, he laughed at the whole idea. It's just despicable. Why is he even on? I know my emotions are getting a hold of it, but a lot of you who don't have YouTube channels or aren't on YouTube and follow me on Twitter have said that have seen that I've been reacting to this in the sidelines and now I just decided to say fuck it I'm going to give you my thoughts and it's just a bunch of bull it's I as content creators beside Logan Paul apparently we know better we are better than this shit but the fact that he is who is apparently the face of YouTube and he does this? No. Hell no. And hell, even PewDiePie's better than this guy. And that's saying something considering PewDiePie went downhill. Like, fast. I used to like PewDiePie. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I used to like him. But it changed the instant they started getting to his head. Now we need, like, now, people like Mark and Jack and Razbowski and Dalko and the 8-Bit people, them guys are so selfless. Or selfish? What's that word? What, what, what would you say? They're selfless? They give back. Meanwhile, these two are just raking in the money. They're just not doing shit. But it's just... I, I really hope YouTube gets their shit together. Because otherwise, there are people like me who, there's a drive in them. They're working on other sites because they can't deal with the shit here. And the fact that they allowed this in the first place. It, and many people have told YouTube to just get rid of his shit and I'm sorry if I'm swearing a fucking lot but I said it I'm pissed that they let this shit come on come on YouTube you're supposed to be a business that caters to everyone but what 
that person in their right mind would find a video about a suicide funny. Only sick people. It's just... I'm... I'm done. I'm going to keep doing stuff, but from now on YouTube, you have to do something. This is getting out of hand. You've had many people say that they're sick of this being happening. And Anna Akana, whoever you are, and YouTube clearly said that you're right. It was a body of somebody they loved. And you don't just, exact, you just don't do that shit. I think my example earlier of going into a hospital, right into a delivery room with a camera saying, oops, my bad, ha <laughs> ha, you look like you're in pain. Just, no. No. And I'm going to now go try to calm down before I start recording some more Cinderella phenomenon and other things, but I just had to get my thoughts out there. I will eat something, and then I'm hopefully going to be calmer by the time I get to recording. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next thing episode of whatever. And remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys. I know this is a long-winded ass uh, vlog. But I just had to get my thoughts out there. See you guys then.